Oh boy, I can't wait to see my old pal Leo, he just moved into this neighborhood since yesterday, I haven't seen him for a long time. I didn't know that the neighbor was your old friend. Neither do I, but he let me a letter that and told me that he's moving to our neighborhood along with his friends. How you and Leo met? We met at daycare when we were kids, Leo's father is an old friend of my dad, we first have a play date at Chase and Brick's house, we used to play in the mud puddle and even do mud wrestling, our moms got angry and scolded us for getting all muddy, but we can't help ourselves, we love playing in the mud, is our favorite hobby as man's. Oh I see, what he's like. Leo is a naive person, he's from a wealthy family, he's smart, talented, good at all Atlantic, and he's quite popular toward women's, me Chase and Brick were quite jealous of him, we wanted to be like him. Wow, that friend of yours is quite the character, I wanted to meet him. He sure fits you along with Chase and Brick, I can't wait to meet him. Same here. By the way, those are interesting cookies you guys made there. They're almost looks like rainbow monkeys. Me and Bobo made these cookies to give to him as a welcoming gift to the neighborhood, this was Bobo's idea. They look nice, Leo loves cookies, is his favorite. You don't said, well I hope he loves the cookies we made. His house is not far, he lives about two blocks away next to Daisuke and Daisy's house according to the address. It's the biggest house I have ever seen. Tell me about it. Is this the house he lives? Yep this is the place where Leo lives, let go ring the doorbell and welcome him. Yes, who is it? Hey Leo, is me, Timothy. Timothy, is that really you? I'll let you in. It really is you. I haven't seen you since I moved out of town when we were kids. I know, I miss you so much old buddy, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thanks for asking. Who are these folks behind you? This my wife Courtney, my adopted daughter Sweet Pea, my two friends Hina, Marai, and this our pet monkey Bobo. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Timothy told me a lot about you. We made you cookies. Wow. Who is this monkey girl? She looks pretty. Thank you. I love cookies. Please make yourself at home. Are these your roommates? Yeah. Let me introduce you to them. This is Melody, Lori, and Ruby. They're triplets and also my friend. You're such a cute adorable little monkey. I just wanted to cuddle you all day. Me too. This is their little brother Sinbad. These cookies are good. And on top of my head is our pet monkey Emily. She's very talented at her young age. <laughs> wow, you sure have so many roommates. I know, and I love them. They're my family. I've been meaning to ask you, how did you found out where I live? I hire one of my private investigator to look for you. I've been wanting to see you since I moved back to the city after a long day of living overseas for my parents' business. I really miss you a lot that I wanted to see you for a long time. I miss you too man, I thought I'd never see you again, but I'm happy that you're back in the US. Me too. I should tell Chase and Brick that you have returned. Huh, Chase and Brick is still around. Yeah, they live with their girlfriends. Do you want to see them? Yeah, I do. Can I even get their contact number? And also yours too. Sure, I'll send you their contact numbers on your phone right now. Thanks. Come in. Oh, Master Leo, are you ready for bed? Yeah, I'm pretty tired. It looks like Emily is already asleep. I'll just put her to bed. I'll join you guys in the minute. So, um, do you have a great time with your old friend and his family, Master? Yes, I have Melody. I enjoy chatting with him and his new wife. Us too. His daughter and monkey are so cute. Also, Timothy invited all us for a dinner party at his place tomorrow. Really? That sounds excited. I agree with Laurie. That was very kind of them to invite us for a meal. I know you girls excited, cause I am too. But for now, let's try to get some sleep. Okay, okay. Good, good night, night Master, Master Leo. Leo. Good night.
Gosh. Emily, good morning. You always do the same trick on me every morning. While I was still asleep, you silly little monkey. Master Leo, you up? Breakfast is ready. Morning, Master Leo. Morning, everyone. Are you looking forward for the dinner party at our neighbor's house? Yes. Timothy and his wife Courtney wanted me to come since I moved back to the U.S. I haven't had a get-together with him for a long time. We're excited too. We were wondering what his wife cooking for all of us. We'll find out later tonight. Oh goody, we should bring them gift. Great idea, Melody. Skidamarinka dinka dink. Skidamarinka do. I love you. Skidamarinka dinka dink. Skidamarinka do. I love you. Oh, that must be Leo. I'll go get it. Yes. Yo, Timothy. Is me Leo. Leo. Glad you came, buddy. We bought you a cake for you. Thank you. I'll let you all in. Gosh, Timothy. Your house is really nice. Is bigger than my house. Thanks. Hina and Mirai build this house for us as our late wedding gift. Need, dude. Hi there. My name is Bobo. Nice to meet you, Bobo. I'm Emily. I'm Master Leo's pet monkey. I love to eat bananas and other human food. Same here. I love bananas and other human food. My owner Courtney is amazing cook. She cooks so many different types of food from around the world. Right now she in the kitchen making Italian food. Really? I can't wait to try her cooking. Me too. I'm kind of hungry. Your baby daughter is really cute. May I hold her? Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> You're so adorable. I just want to hug you. Guys, dinner's ready. Oh boy, I'm starved. Whoa, this sure is a huge feast, an Italian feast. I never seen such food before. Yep, I made spaghetti, meatballs, lasagna, pizza margarita, pizza calzone, garlic bread, and for dessert, chocolate fudge cake that you brought over that I wanted to thank you for. Oh wow, I can't wait to dig in. Can eat now please. Go ahead. Thank you so much for dinner. Me and my friends enjoyed food that you made Courtney. Glad you guys enjoy it. My wife truly loves cooking. Not just cooking, but I also love baked too. Oh right, that too. Well compliment to the chef to you. So what friendship relationship you have with Timothy Leo? Well um, Timothy has been a great friend to me since preschool. Chase and Brick were also very kind to me too. I always been a shy and quiet person until they show up toward me, and we became best friends. We were classmates back in preschool. Our teacher Miss Joy was ready a story to us during story time. Timothy was sitting behind me along with Chase and Brick. I was alone ready a book. Timothy and them invited me to join on playing with the puzzle. That was first time I made friends with Timothy, playing in the mud puddle with them, or mud wrestling. But our mother's lecture and scolding us for getting all dirty and muddy. But it was my first time playing in the mud puddle. My mom got really angry at me. I never seen my mother get angry before. Having a first boy's sleepover party at my house. And the time when my family is about to move overseas to Europe for my parents' business career. They gave me picture as a farewell gift. That was the last time I seen them after the day I left U.S. My parents made a promise to me, when I graduated from high school, will return back to the U.S. So I decided to wait until then. Yeah, I have an awesome friendship with Timothy along Chase and Brick. Oh, mine. That is a touching story between you and Timothy, also Chase and Brick too. You both must have a wonderful relationship as besties. We agree with Courtney. Well, I never made a friend before. I was a shy person until Timothy show up, and we start a friendship together. Say um, did you get in touch with Chase and Brick? Yeah, first they were shocked, and then they got excited after finding out it was me, Chase, and Brick invited me tomorrow for guys night. Cool, same here, we haven't had a guys night for ages. I know, I'm looking forward tomorrow night at Chase and Brick place. Should I bring you some more tea, Leo? Yes, please. All right. It would be just a second. Thank you.
I'll be happy living in this neighborhood with you, Timothy. Same here, old pal.